That's right. You were made yes. for God's glory. That's right. God didn't make you to go to the club and shake your old hips no. for the devil. No, no. Woman, woman, man. Men out here shaking just like women. That's true. You are a disgrace to your Lord. That's right. You're an embarrassment to manhood. That's right. Look at you, Mr. Man. Look at you. Mm -hmm. You let your hair grow long like a woman. Yeah. You want to arch your eyebrow like women. Yes. You want to polish your nails like women. Have you noticed there's a feminine spell yeah. that come from hell that's robbing men of their masculine nature? Yeah. And there's a masculine spell that came from hell yeah. that want to anoint women and rob them from their feminine nature. That's right. All right, thank God, but we're here with the word of God to put everything Back the way God had it. That's right. Eh? That's oh right. yes, we're going to take the switch and the twitch out of the men yeah. and remove the stroll from the women. Amen. We're going to take all the men broke wrists and put a Bible cast on it. That's right. Eh? That's right. Put a cast on your wrists. So the healing of the Lord can get in there. Amen. 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 All right, Williams, let's go in the Bible because, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like hitting hard this morning. I really do. It's, amen. I feel a good push from the Heavenly Father all, sound like all down in me. And, sound like amen. The bell has sound and I'm ready to go all the round. That's right. All of them. All right, let's go to work. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and at verse 6. If any of you got to move around, you move around now because I know a lot of you when I, I don't believe in stepping on your toe. I believe in stomping on your whole body. Amen. Never mind stepping on your toes. Just cut the legs off. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Cut the legs off. Get everything get right. Everything. So if you want to move around, you go on and move around now and get you a shot of water. And, and, and notice I said a shot of water. A shot of water. Nothing else. That's right. And man, if it get too hot and you get too angry, go outside and enjoy the sunshine. And hey man, breathe a little and do a few about three jumping jacks. And, Come on back and get stretched out again. That's it. Because we're going to straighten you up and stretch you out. That's right. All right. Follow me in your Bible. Isaiah chapter 43 and at verse 6. Isaiah 43 and 6. I will say to the north, give up. What? I will say to the north, give up. Oh, the north? The what north. about the south? And to the south, keep not back. That's where we're at now. That's right. And the wicked south. That's right. Mm -hmm. Some folk in the north move to the south and think they are escaping something. The devil's in the north just like he is in the south. That's right. That's south right. ain't like it was years ago where you can sit on your porch and enjoy a nice breeze and it's all quiet. Yeah. Somebody come driving through your neighborhood in a drive-by. Oh, yeah. Shoot right through your cornfield. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey, man, one thing I say about the devil, that same liar that's in the north where I'm from. Yeah. It's here in the here in the south. Yeah, that's right. Same religion. That's right. And I see the same people being loyal to all this man-made religion. Mm -hmm. Why you think on practically every broadcast you hear me telling you, leave the church. Amen. Why in the world would you be loyal to a religion that don't even exist in your Bible? That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Now, let's have a family chat this morning. I want to have a family discussion, and don't be afraid. I'm not going to say I'm not going to hurt you, because, uh, well, yeah, I'm not going to hurt you. The Bible will do it. I won't have to do it. Amen. How many here are Baptist this morning? Raise your hand. Don't be afraid. Raise your hand. All right. How many here are Methodist? How many here are Catholic? How many here are Pentecostal? How many here are non-denomination? How many here are apples with Stalics? Amen. How many here are Muslims, Hebrew Israelites, Protestants? Some folk don't want to raise their hands. <laughs> they raise them. Amen. Who's here that's not nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Nothing? nothing. 
It ain't nothing. Glory to God. So we're going to take the word of God and see can we make them something. That's right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we are the children of God, correct? If we are the children of God, then we supposed to be what God is. That's right. You that are watching, get this. That's right. If you are a Baptist, ask yourself, is God a Baptist? Before you declare loyalty to it. Amen. I want you to put your thinking cap on. If you're apostolic, ask yourself, is God apostolic? If you're Pentecostal, ask yourself. Don't get mad at me, because that's a waste of energy. Yeah. If you're Pentecostal, ask yourself, is God Pentecostal? Right. If you are de non-denominational, ask yourself, is God non-denominational? If you're nothing, <laughs> ask yourself, is God nothing? In other words, why would you declare yourself to be a Christian? when nobody in the Bible professed to be a Christian the way you do. That's right. I, my job as your friendly international mailman <laughs> is to bring you the letters of God. That's right. That's what William is holding now. The letters that's of God. That's right. That's what the scriptures are. The letters of God. The Bible said how the holy men of God speak as they was moved by the Holy Ghost. Not as they was moved by seminary school, as they was moved by theology, no. not as they was moved by philosophy, no, no. but as they was moved by the Holy Ghost. So then, look how long you've been in this religion. Can you even add up the amount of money you gave over the years? Lord. Look how many thousands of dollars you gave Amen. to Reverend Chicken Wing. <laughs> Look how many thousands of dollars you gave over the years yeah. to Reverend Hamburger. Hamburger. Amen. Look at the money he conned you out of and duped you out of right. for years. That's right. Look at the five hundred dollar prayer line in your church, the thousand dollar prayer line in your church. Look at the people that come up and he put his hands on their head and scream over them and body slam them to the floor. And, and then say, they're healed, they ain't healed, they're hurt. That's right. Am I right? That's right. You stop going to church, running around the church like you in a track meeting. That's right. It's time to sit down and learn the real intentions of God from that book. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. You not gonna believe the Bible, then give it to somebody that will. Amen. What good is going to church when your religion is does not exist in the book? That's right. You don't go to church because your mama go. No. What kind of fool reason is that? No. You don't go to church because your boyfriend go there. That's right. You don't go to church because your family tree is there. Okay. Trees are made to be cut down. Amen. You got one soul. One. And one day them eyes going to close. That's right. No more breasts going to come out of your body. That's right. They're going to give you mouth to mouth and give you CPR. Mm -hmm. Try to resuscitate you, bring you back. back. But God ain't going to let you come back because God is giving you time now. That's right. But because you rather lean to your own understanding and reject the counsel of God, do you know why you get in your 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s? It ain't because you're good. No. For there's none good but one, and that one is God. The only reason why you're still living, your eyes have already changed colors from the liquor. Mm. You already have respiratory problems from your cigarettes. That's right. You go in the church once a week 
through King James Memorial Church. Amen. They ain't made you no Christian. Roaches go to church. Amen. Roaches make babies in church. That's right. That's why it's hard to get rid of. That's right. That's right. You ain't done God no favors. Look at what the false prophet do to you. You done drank, smoked, lied, party, didn't give God no time, didn't die. And then the preacher roll you in the church. And then your family know you was a sinner and they say, we want to give James a Christian barrier. That's right. And then they roll their sinner son or sinner father or sinner uncle or sinner nephew in the church. Then your jerry curl head manicured nail cross necklace wearing preacher. Amen. Stand over the corpse of an alcoholic. That's right. A gang banger. That's right. A cigarette sucker. Amen. And because he don't want to offend your family, you a Christian all of a sudden. Yes, sir. Until your family got the nudge. Are we at the right funeral? Yeah. They, 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 they talk about Billy like that. Man, you know Billy was the devil. That's right. So Reverend Chicken Wing don't want to offend James family. So Reverend Chicken Wing put James in heaven. That's right. He don't want to tell your family that James is on his way to hell. Hell, oh no. But where else is he going? That's right. If I want to make it plain, if your mama your father, your husband, your wife, your sons, your daughters, you live the life that you reject God, you ain't going to heaven. That's right. Talk back to me. That's right. The wicked shall be turned into hell. Including the pastor you follow. That's right. Am I right? That's right. You ain't going to heaven unless you obey what God say. That's it. That's right. Because you sing on the choir, so do homosexuals. Yeah. Because you a deacon, yeah. that don't mean nothing. Yeah. There's laws, guidelines, principles yeah. that the Lord of creation himself oh, yeah has put in the scriptures. That's right. What did he put it in there for? Our learning. That's right. Until the book says this, whatsoever things that are written. A foretime. Not made up. Written. Not suggested. Written. Not opinionated. Written. Whatsoever things were written a foretime is written for our learning. You better get chapter and verse for this. Romans chapter 15 and at verse 4. And let me say this before I go on any further. All of you that sit in the audience chewing gum while I'm preaching, disrespecting God, how go ahead, brother. get that mess out of your mouth. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You've been taught well enough to know. God well ain't got no business being in God's house. That's right. I'm tired of looking at the telecast and seeing your mouth chewing ahead, like a cow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go when ahead. you come to church, keep that garbage outside. That's right. Don't bring it in God's house. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. Go what ahead. did the book say? Romans 15 and verse 4. What is it? For whatsoever things were written. Whatever things are written. Are four times. That's what interests me. That's it. Written. What's written? Written. Black, white, brown, yellow, red. Who cares what color you are? Yes. God made you. That's right. Your life is written. That's right. Well, I don't believe the Bible. So, so it's still written. Still written. That's right. That, that Bible ain't real. That's just what you want to believe. But it's still written. For what if some did not believe? The Bible said, what if some did not believe? Shall they unbelief make, make the, the faith, faith of, of God. God without effect? It is written. They shall be earthquake in diverse places. Is it happening? Amen. It is written. There shall be wars and rumors of wars. Is it happening? That's right. It is written that the people shall congregate in the streets. Is it happening? Amen. It is written that there shall be floods. That's is it happening? Yeah. Amen. It is written there shall be famine. Thank is it happening? Yeah. Whatsoever things were written. What? 
whatsoever thing. Were written aforetime. Was written aforetime, meaning were, uh, before you got here. That's right. What was it written for? Were written for our learning. The scriptures is written so you can learn them. That's right. But for us to properly learn them, someone has to teach them. The teacher. Yeah. That's right. And a man can't teach what he himself don't know. That's right. That's right. Now I know many of you used to go on to church and hearing the preacher with a big robe on. Manicures, his nails so shiny, the light bounce off of him. Oh yeah. And he got his sermon written out. Yeah. He don't talk in his regular voice. <laughs> he got what they call the preacher's voice. That's right. He get up and tell you, well, we thank the Lord today. If I were you, use four texts. Jack be number. Jack be quick. That's right. Jack jump over the candlestick. Amen. Amen. And that's what you see in churches. Church supposed to be real. Yeah, that's right. The preaching of the message supposed to be real. Yeah. Fake preaching make a fake people. Amen. Amen. Real Holy Ghost preaching make a genuine people. That's right. There are many sincere people all over the world would do better if they had someone to teach them better. We are victims of bad teaching. They speak a vision of their own heart. Listen. Now in the book of Jeremiah 23 and verse 16. Jeremiah 23, 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Oh, you better begin at verse 14. At verse 14. Listen. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem. I have seen in the prophets of Jerusalem. And horrible thing. A uh, God talking. Horrible. Horrible Prophet thing. Prophet means messenger. That's right. And these things out here today are not messengers of God. They are messengers of money and materialism. That's right. Let me make something clear to you that are visiting and you that are watching around the world. God, and I want you to hear this, yeah. have never sent no man to preach, touch, and claim it. It's yours. No. God have never sent a man to preach prosperity plan. No. God have never sent a man to make you believe they're right here. Is heaven no way God have never sent a man to tell you to just venture after cars that's right houses that's right. money mansions. mansions when you read the Bible when God sent men those men were warners that's right they warned everybody about their wickedness that's right and warned them to get right before the Lord come for them that's right but you love these churches that tell you hold the neighbor hand and tell the neighbor something. Yeah. You love the churches where the preachers tell you you can't lose with the stuff I use. That's right. All these simple Simon nursery rhymes. Amen. You want a mansion. Yeah. You want a limousine. Mm -hmm. You want a big bank account. Yeah. But you don't want God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't care how rich you are. Yeah. If your car is so long until the back seat is here in Columbia, and the driver's seat is in Brooklyn. Yeah. You got to call a whole new area code hmm. to find out where, what street you're at. That's right. True prosperity is not houses, it's not land, yeah. it's not money. That's right. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. That's right. Any preacher and every preacher that is on television or radio or social media preaching prosperity, he is a servant of the devil. They speak a vision of their own that heart. That include T.D. Jakes, Benny Hinn, Creflo O'Dollar, Joel Austin, Amen. and anybody else. That's right. They are servants of the devil. Of the devil. Amen. Amen. Jesus said the poor you will have with you always. 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 You should never have to pay to come in God's house. No way. 
And you should never have to pay a preacher to preach in God's house. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Everywhere we travel, yeah. and folk don't pay me to preach. No, they don't. Who get paid to get beat up? That's right. No one pay me to run their second husband out the house. No way. Nobody pay me to run that girlfriend and boyfriend that's shacking up out the house. That's right. That's right. You don't find a homosexual waving a rainbow flag when I'm telling him he'll go to hell. No. No. No, no. Someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, I got to give something. You want to give something? Yeah. Give God yourself. That's right. The greatest offering you can give is not money. That's right. The greatest offering you can give your body. is your life. That's right. That's right. The Bible said, present your body. A living, a living sacrifice. sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. That's right. Are you listening this afternoon? Yes. Listen. Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. Follow me. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible things. I have seen. Horrible. In the prophets of Jerusalem. And horrible thing. Something that's horrible. Horrible. Mm -hmm. They commit adultery. They commit adultery. And walk in lies. What? Wait walk, a minute. Walk in lies. They commit adultery. And walk in lies. Look at these preachers. Got two and three and four and five wives. Commit adultery. And some of them is your pastor. That's true. You know his first wife. You know his second wife. And he's already shopping for the third. That's right. And you don't care because he's your uncle. That's right. You don't care because he's your nephew. You don't care because he's your brother. Yeah. Yes. Spirit outweighs relatives. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? They commit adultery. They commit adultery. And walk in lies. They what? Walk in lies. Anytime a man tell you there's Trinity, walk in lies. three gods in heaven, yeah. and the Bible says, Here or else you are the Lord our God is how many? One. He's walking in lies. Walk in lies. Yeah. That's right. Anytime a man got women preachers up in the pulpit, he's walking in lies. Walking in lies. Anytime the preacher's wife is the first lady, listen, to, it, it, it's a family business. Yeah. The preacher, he's the pastor. Wife is the first lady. Daughter is the treasurer. Mm -hmm. Son is the secretary. That's a family business. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. He's walking where? And walk in lies. It ain't nothing wrong with drinking a little, gambling a little, smoking a little, go down to Atlantic City or Lost Niggas, Nevada, pray over your dice, come on, Lord. Lord, I know you work in mysterious way. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> ha! That's right. They walk, walk where? Walk in lies. Haven't you heard preacher says seven is God number? Yeah. Have you heard him say that? Yeah. It ain't no Bible ever said that. No. They walk what? Walk in lies. Walk in. Have you heard the preacher say to my guests that Jesus was born December 25th on Christmas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That ain't never been in the Bible. No. What are they doing? Walk in lies. Have you heard the preacher say that Jesus rose on Easter? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to have rose last week. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That ain't in the Bible. What That's did right. the Bible say? Walk in lies. Walk in. Uh -huh. Walk in. When you walk in lies, you have gotten comfortable. Yeah. And you have turned your back on the word of God and ignored it and became comfortable in your wickedness. We have made a covenant with death. Uh-oh. Isaiah 28 and at verse 15. Isaiah 28, 15 says. Because ye have said. Because ye, the people have said. We have made a covenant with death. How in the world are you going to make a pact with death? Hold it. Let's define death. Yeah. When it says you have made a covenant or a pact or an agreement with death, Death here is talking about sin, the sting of death and sin. So you made a covenant with death. You have agreed to live like a sinner and die like a sinner. And with hell. And with hell. Are we at agreement? You've got to be a child of the devil. Oh yeah. For you to make an agreement with sin. That's right. And then so wicked until you and decide agreement. to just go ahead and go to hell. With hell. Hmm. Don't want to be right. That's Don't right. want to repent of your sins. That's right. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Don't want the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. Don't want to be in the holiness church because it's too strict for them. That's right. And here you 85 talking about I'm too strict. That's right. That's right. 
What in what in the what else do you have strength to do? Amen. Amen. You in your 60s, 70s, and 80s. Oh yes. What else do you have strength to do? That's right. You can barely catch your breath to say Jesus. That's true. That's true. That's right. That's you right. owe God your life. Amen. He extended your years. Extended. And you're still a fool. Oh, yeah. That's he right. have extended your years and showed mercy. And the way you show your gratitude is cuss. That's right. Drink. Yeah. Gamble. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Yeah. Party. Yeah. And then your family said, we're going to give you a Christian funeral to hell you are going. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're going to burn. Yeah. Hold up. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. You're going to burn. Oh, yeah. This is the time now, now for the whole world to get on God's side. That's right. Stop playing church. Amen. You want to play church? Stay home. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Bible says, choose ye this, this day. This day. Hallelujah. Serve. Who are they going to serve? Serve. If God be God, serve him. Serve him. Serve him. If the devil be God, serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Are you listening? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have made a covenant with you death. judge. Amen. Hallelujah. Choose which side you're gonna be on. Yeah. You may struggle with some things God says, but at least you agree to be on his side. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Listen. We have made a covenant with death. Give chapter and verse. Still in Isaiah 28 and verse 15. We have made a covenant, a pact, a promise, an agreement, with a death. contract mm -hmm. with death. And with hell are we at with agreement. With hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. What do they say? It shall not come unto us. What else? For we have made lies our refuge. There's some folk, man. I don't care how much you talk to them. I don't care what you do for them. They'll look you straight in the eye yeah. and just lie. Lie. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The book says what? We have made lies our refuge. Refuge is a hiding place. Yeah. Man made religion, mm -hmm. the preachers, have made lies their refuge and they don't want to tell what truth they know That's right. to people because it'll cut off his income. That's right. So these false prophets won't preach against divorce. Oh no, no way. Because members will start walking out. Oh, yeah. And if members leave, that means he gotta get a job. That's right. And go to work. That's right. Like everybody else. Everybody else. That's what he should be doing anyway. Amen. What did he say? For we have made lies our refuge. Come out of your churches. Come out. Stop hiding under the Trinitarian lie. That's right. The divorce and remarriage lie. The women preaching lie. Baptize your father, son, and Holy Ghost. Go to a Catholic church and the pervert posing pervert. as a priest. Take water and throw it on your child's head. Pervert. That's right.